am Danny B of Danny B's Closet. Welcome to my channel. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and occasionally eBay. Today I will be unboxing a thread up designer box. This box is from Phoenix, Arizona. For those of you who are new to my channel or who are just getting started watching um, unboxings or thread up unboxings, I want to show you the inside, how it looks. So it comes with the polka dot paper. Okay, so on top, I have this um, Prada black purse. Um, so on the exterior, it looks to be in good condition. It has some scratches here, but because of this material, it's kind of like a nylon, it should be easy to just wipe it with a rag. And then it has just a pop like I pushed it down closure and the inside is really clean as well so just off of the design on the front as well as the um, closure I'm gonna say that this is probably a vintage purse make sure you guys can see that and Prada is on all of the hardware and I was trying to see if it had the kick um, R, like the R had the little kick in it to see if it was authentic because when I looked on the inside I didn't see the little white tag but I haven't really been studying Vintme um, designer that long so I don't know when Prada started including that and if all items have to have it so um, before I list this I will get it authenticated to make sure it's real because I have gotten a um, fake Prada from ThreadUp before in one of these boxes. So, um, there's that. So, really cute. And I'm, I'm starting to get into vintage a little bit more. So, not too bad. Okay, so my second item. The second item is a red Valentino dress. And it looks like ThreadUp is keeping with the vintage uh, theme. Because this dress looks vintage this is a really small dress like it's really petite so let's see what size um, what size is it it says Valentino spa so I don't know if this was a a workers uniform perhaps it says made in Italy the tags look good so I'm assuming this is authentic it's a size 38 so red valentino size 38 it has some light which very light i think you can see it right there some light um fading but overall um as all the buttons are here and i think that's the only spot that i've seen so that's not not too bad i i like it okay um next i have some Salvatore Ferragamo boutique made in Italy white shoes okay um if these aren't vintage they should be <laughs> but they seem to be in my light is this white is showing up really bright on there so I hope you guys can see the detail but it's actually white and tan the toe the cap is tan and then it has the um, signature Ferragamo um, logo going across it and then it has um, a low heel so overall not bad there's some wear on both but for the most part I mean these are not they're not bad they're a size 9b so that's good they're not um narrow because a lot of Ferragamo shoes I have found or seen can be like double A and stuff like that. So this is a regular size. Oh, and they somebody had their um, insole in there. But other than that, these are in really great condition. So not bad. Okay, so that's my third item. Okay, so these are really pretty. Look at this bright color. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Okay, so we have a pair of Manolo Blahnik. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Manolo Blahnik. Uh, yellow mules with a bow detail on them. Um, and they have some scuffs on them. Uh, let's see. Right here, you see the little scuff. But I can get that off, I think, easily with um, suede brush and cleaner. And the bottoms need to be cleaned. But for the most part, these are in great condition. You know, when I say great, I mean great in the fact that, they, you know, these are used items. And so, you know, there's no major damage. So that's why I say great. But um, I always disclose any damage. And so for the most part, there is no um, wear that would prevent them from being worn. And this is a size 40. So not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so that's my fourth item okay so third pair of heels um these are prada and they are a size 36 and a half the bottom looks good you know as when i say good i mean authentic and but they do have some wear on the bottoms and let's see Okay, and they have, this one has some damage right here. It's missing, which you probably won't be able to see it, but it's missing, well, there you go. It's missing a row of sequins, which honestly, I might just list and disclose, or I may try to find some sequins and just maybe glue them in. So it just depends. Um, I sell Prada. I have sold Prada shoes and they don't really sell quickly for me. Prada purses, yes, but not Prada shoes. So I'm going to do research on these and see what the price point is. And then I will, they will determine how much work I want to put into them. Plus they're a size six and a half. So maybe a six um, in sizing. So that's a really hard size to sell for me. So I don't know, but these are really pretty. Um, I love that bow detail on them and then look at the sparkle. I mean who who can resist sparkle, right? Okay, let's see. What is this? Okay, so this is a Michael Kors watch and it does not appear to be working which means I would have to get a battery. But this is Michael Kors, not Michael Michael Kors. So, not too bad. Um, I actually have another Michael Kors watch that I got in a jewelry box that I still have not put a battery in. But, um, I don't sell a lot of jewelry. And so, I just kind of put it to the side. But I will eventually get around to, you know, taking these and getting a battery put in them. And hopefully getting those listed. So, this is my six item so I have one more item and it's something shiny and pretty pretty color at least it's like a silver periwinkle like a silver purple color so like per periwinkle and it is a dress this is Beer Wayne Maids, and it is a size. I don't know. Let's see. It is a size. This is really pretty, you guys. Um, the bottom has like a scallop um, edge hemline, and that is so cute. I mean, I know a lot of bridal and wedding items are not in right now due to um, COVID, but. You know, eventually, things will go back to normal. So, I may have to sit on this for a while, which is fine. You know, every, you know, every time you buy something does not mean it's going to sell immediately. It would be nice, but that's just not the way the reselling business works. You know, you have to be able to be patient. Okay, so maybe that's why they put this in the boxes because the size is not on it. crazy okay it is it's, it was tucked under 
Okay, so this is a size six. So this is what the full dress looks like. It's really pretty. Okay, so those are my seven items. So I have a Vera Wang dress, um, Manolo Blahnik mules, um, this vintage style, I don't know if it's vintage yet, but I'm going to say vintage style red Valentino dress, size 38. I have this gorgeous little Prada um, bag that seems to be in great condition. Um, and then I have a pair of um, Salvatore Ferragamo. Oh, that shows up even better now. Ferragamo shoes. Aren't those pretty now that the light is has adjusted? You can kind of see them. So those are really pretty. And then I have a pair of Prada sequins heels. So overall, you know, not too bad. It's not the best box I've ever seen. Um, you know, I've actually received better boxes than, than this before so overall i'm happy um you know like i say not the best but not the worst and i for sure think i will make my money back plus you no know, profit so there's my box oh and i forgot in the michael kors watch so let me know in the comment section what you think um and if you ordered any boxes i would love to know what you've gotten uh thanks you guys for watching please like and subscribe to this video also, please don't forget to go and check out some of my other videos. I do um, Goodwill thrift hauls. I do I go thrifting often, and I share what I found with you guys. I also do unboxings for Goodwill and Thread Up. So, and I also will be updating um, hopefully this week some of my souls, just talking about the things that I found and how much I spent on those items and the profit I've made. So, if any of that interests you, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.